Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 2023, we are back at work. <laughs> I hope you had a very nice one festive season and we are wishing you a very, a very uh, good 2023. And I hope all your dreams will be achieved. But the time has already started. I'm sure you have already rolled up your sleeve. And then we have uh, started to work. As you can see, we are back at work. My name is the Sobre Boys, Wale Fatsi, together with uh, Tabiki. I'll be joined by Tsepang Kholo not long. And then uh, the show is called TBR Solution Sports Forum. We are talking sports. Tabiki, how are you doing? Could you kindly greet the viewers? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. And yourself, Basso, Brian, uh, the viewers, uh, hello again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, last one, welcome to the show. Kindly greet the viewers. Yes, sir. good morning to the viewers out there. And to you also, Mr. Chabalala. And happy New Year to the viewers and to our fellow patriots of the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know what? Thank you very much, guys. We are back at work, but uh, some of us have been at work. Tabiki has been at work. He has done a lot of work the past few days. Tabiki, you were at the Phillies games. We'll start there immediately. How did it go about? Oh, yeah, talking about it during, I mean, the Phillies game. Thank you so much again. Mm -hmm. Um. We were just watching the World Cup a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we were treated to some good football, and then we jumped straight into the Phillies game. Mm -hmm. You know, Cassie football, we saw, you know, good football, best football, and mm -hmm. people of Tendisa came out in numbers to support mm -hmm. their respective teams. Mm -hmm. See, So it was very nice. And then talking about the final, one Lion team yesterday via mm -hmm. penalty, it was a very tough game. All mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. came out in you know, all people came to cover the game. Mm. The, the Premier League in the in the, in the, in the street. Mm. You know, everything was. Oh, everybody can. You know, even as I was turning to, you know, march there. Your line, your line has started to disappoint us again. It keeps on breaking. It's a pun. Oh. Kindly come back. Give us the winners. I must add that Tabik has done a lot of work. I'll be showing pictures, guys. He's our journalist on the ground. He has been there uh, talking to a whole lot of people. Let me show you a little bit uh, what he, he's talking about. These are the winners. Uh, they won 200,000, courtesy of DSTV. And then uh, Tsepan, come in. Let's assist uh, Tabiki. Tsepan? Okay, Tabiki, try it again because I see Tsepan is struggling too. Okay. Yeah, no, no, you can say Tsepan, what, what do you want to say? Oh, yes. Um, yes, uh, I was also one of the people that are following the Phillies games, you know, mm -hmm. during the festive season. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I did attend the final as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a very, it was a very nice tournament. Mm -hmm. Um, I think in terms of the whole structure mm -hmm. and the whole system of the Phillies games, they have mm -hmm. grown so much, you know. Um, mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of sponsors uh, 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 during these festive seasons. Uh, of 2022, there was a lot mm -hmm. of sponsors. The mm -hmm. organizing committee was on point, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even taking uh, uh, boys from Tembisa, you know, small mm. boys, young, mm. talented small boys, and mm. for them to be part of Super Sport, the commentary mm. team, mm. and the whole organizing team. That mm. was very brilliant of them. Um, I think these games are actually growing year by year now. Okay. Um, so, Tabiki yeah. has so been there. Experience. Yeah, Tabiki has been there right from the beginning. These are the pictures that were shot by Tabiki and Saddam Maki. Thanks, Adam. Thank you very much for being uh, helpful to us. <laughs> he works with Tabiki now, and then uh, soon we'll be having a meeting around these issues. He is the Premier of our uh, province, Houting uh, Premier, uh, Mr. Panyaza Lusufi, together with Philly, uh, the guy who's behind the concept, and Peggy. Hey, Peggy has grown up. Look at the body, man. <laughs> It's part of those. Uh, Tabiki, you just want to add something? 
And then yeah, thanks I mean, for the pictures, man. Yes, to begin. Yeah. And then again, the atmosphere, I, it was out of this world, you know, building up to the final, it was the first game that we were used to watching every year. But when we got to the final, mm. everything changed, you know, it was like, a, you know, A class, everything organized, security tight, you know, mm. everything, everything was perfect, you know. Mm. Um, I wish uh, we could get another first game for January, but, you know, we'll try to get one of the December half, yeah. you know. There is Mambush yeah. there, together with Sana. Yeah, Mambush together with mm. Tohi, the chairman of Mamelodi Sundowns. This guy speaks well. I like the way the way he speaks. I respect him. You know, one day you were speaking, I listened to him speaking about Trump Kekan. I was impressed. He spoke yeah. very well, very well. I really appreciate it. You know, it's like Khabu Zondo. I like Khabu when he speaks. I don't know, guys, whether you listen to Khabu Zondo when he speaks during the... The, the, the break in terms of uh, analysis. He speaks well, very, very oh. diplomatic. I listen to Havu pre and post match, and then I enjoy. So Tohi speaks well. I try to get him to interview him. I'm not winning, but one day we'll get him. But keep up the good work. Uh, thanks, Haram. Thanks, and you, uh, uh, Tabiki. Yes, you are relating. And then, uh, so it was nice. The atmosphere was good. And I can see, yeah, yeah you see your um, Mambush is there, yeah, Saddam, yeah, as usual, mm. you know, doing his own things, you know. And then yeah. uh, very nice pictures. And then um, uh, where do I go now? Uh, let me see. No, no, uh, I've done, I've shown this, I've shown that one. Uh, okay, I must also show, okay, this. Yeah, um, in the meantime, while I'm still trying to show another one, let me put this one of Saddam uh, and then so that I can. Yeah, um, I'm still listening to you, uh, Tabiki. Uh, what do you want to add? Yeah, now I'm, I'm not going to gonna go to the stadium. What I said yesterday, yeah, mm. it's a nice stuff. So you get to get to meet new friends, new people, mm. you know. You network with people there, you know, you enjoy soccer, you enjoy the food, the drinks, yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Here's our premier. I'm happy that he told you that I brought him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He told me that, yeah. He okay. That. okay. And then even okay. with Power, Power Makura himself, he said, you guys know each other from, from long, so they like what they're doing, they like the concept, then... You know, let's hope one day we'll bring him to the show and then we will be them, you know? Let me tell you something. Banyala is very great. People don't know him. Yeah. And he speaks well. Oh. He speaks very well. Yeah. I saw him uh, speaking on Marawa's launch, book launch. Very short, sweet to okay. the point. But that was Banyaza that I know. He can put yeah. words uh, together. Oh. He's very good when it comes to oh. that. And then uh, I just wanted to share him again, uh, the premier, the mm -hmm. premier. All right? And then, uh, you know, me and him, his father gave us a name. I'm not going to mention that name now because now he's the premier now. Now he's the premier now. Now I'm talking I'm talking to the premier now. I'm not talking to uh, that name. He knows that. He's our name there. When we are on our <laughs> own in our corner, then we mention that name because we honor the old man, you know? <laughs> Yeah, guys. Somebody, somebody, somebody called him Kalo and I'm a Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm not gonna say it again. In public, I'm not gonna mention. I'm tightly about it. In public, I'm not gonna mention that name. I'll mention when we're in our corner, private. Hey, do remember, man? That was his father who gave us that name. Yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you very much. It was nice. <laughs> guys, let's move on quickly. Uh, let's go to the local football and then, uh, you know, things are happening there. And then um, I don't know who wants to start first. We saw that, um, what is that? The um, uh, Kaiser Chiefs. No, let's start with Pirates with Mamelodi Sundowns. Uh, who wants to start first on that one? Now both of you are Chiefs fans. So who wants to talk about Chiefs? Uh, no, Tepa, maybe talk about sundowns. I know Tabi can be somehow uh, biased sometimes. <laughs> Come on, uh, Tepa. Yeah, I know. Um, 
Yes, yes. Uh, we saw the Sundowns and Pirates game over the weekend. Um, you know, Sundowns, I think they, they, they deserve to rest, you know. They got the much-needed rest that they needed and to balance the squad, you know, and to rotate the squad. And, yeah, they picked up where they left off. It's like they, they were never gone. They gave us a show as expected, you know. Um, a very nice, interesting game, um, especially from the young fella, Keisha Smailula. Yeah, he's really coming up, eh? That um, he's really great. coming up. That boy is great. Yeah, boy, that boy is great. Eh? He's mm. making us not even to miss Peter Shadulile. So, hey, yeah, that boy is coming along very well. I love what Rulani is doing with that squad, you know. Um, mm. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of interesting young players are coming up uh, from Mamelodi Sundowns. So, yeah, Mamelodi Sundowns seem strong. Uh, seem strong. Um, I, we, we, we can see that they, they might do it again. So, yeah, we'll just see how the league unfolds as, as time goes again. But uh, Rulani is another one who speaks well, but I'm not surprised. The, the son of family can speak well. Have you listened to Jomo? Jomo is very good. That is why uh, at some point Kai FM wanted to rob him. He can, he can speak well. So Rulani speaks well. I haven't listened to his dad. I uh, just listened to him at the ground. I haven't listened to him speaking uh, in the media. But Jomo, I know, can speak well. And then Rulani also is very good to analyze the game. Guys, here's the lock. Uh, let me ask this question, Tabiki. Do you think uh -huh. it was uh, an intentional for, you know, the goalkeeper of Pirates in Bonjan uh, by, you know, kicking Abu Bakr? Was it intentional or it was an accident? No, uh -huh. I think the challenge was and then he just went in hard because he wanted to he didn't want to convince you understand. Mm. So I don't think it was intentional. He had him by, you know, mm. it's just a rival didn't put he then mm. started to pick um, Abu Bakr intentional. He didn't, I like they went in hard, both of them. So mm. it's just football. It happens sometimes, you mm. know. Some people were complaining that it was intentional. That's why I wanted to check. I'm sorry about Abu Bakr. He, he has just come back and unfortunately, yeah. you know, it sets him off again. Uh, yeah, let's and move on, guys. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, because I'm worried about time. Richards Bay, guys. Uh, Tepan, what do you want to say about Richards Bay? Look wow. where they are. They wow. are at number two. Wow. And then, uh, but remember, Royal AM2 came and then they were also hovering there. But there they are, they're at number 11 now. Are we going okay. to see Richards Bay doing the same thing? Go up the next thing, they go down. Let, let, let's talk about that. What's your take, Tepan? Yeah, the the Natal Rich boys, yeah, they're really pushing, eh? Um, they've been I, I think on the top two uh and outstanding since the beginning of the season. So um mm -hmm. they've been doing well. Um I think they've got a lot of experienced players. With mm -hmm. them they've managed to infuse a lot of experienced players uh mm -hmm. who have played in the premiership before mm -hmm. and with the and uh, mixing with the, the, the players which they already had from mm -hmm. the Ten mm -hmm. Africa Championship. So I think that mixture of combining the two is kind of working for them compared mm -hmm. to Royal AM. So, no, it's fine. Let's that, move on quickly. It's a, yeah. I mean, uh, Tabiki, what do you say about Supersport? I hear Peter saying uh -huh. Gavin Hunt is a great coach, he's even better than him. Uh, do you agree now that Gavin Hunt is a big coach? He's a great coach. Unfortunately, it could not work out at Chiefs. So what's your take? Yeah. Um, he is a soldier. I agree with Pito, but I don't think he's better than Pito. <laughs> Never. Um, well, that's what Pito says. Winning is better than Pito says. Better. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't, you know, now he's big. He, does, he doesn't need to mm -hmm. say he's better than Gavin Hunt. Just giving Gavin Hunt the prop to say. But Pito likes really Gavin Hunt. Remember, he also robbed him to the... Yes. To the national squad at some point. That's how I that's how I respect to finish. Yeah. Pardon? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, you see with super sport you've done a very job. Yes, yes. I'm saying with super sport he has done a very good job in a short of time. Look at what they are now. You know, mm -hmm. I think if they push like this, they'll end up somewhere number two, number three, somewhere there. Just like Richard's play. If they continue to play when they end, I don't know if they will fall. You can see number four also, they also push up, you know. 
confidence is back in Shoreno. I don't know what's happening in Paris. Need to... Your line, your line is a little bit disappointing. It's a little bit disappointing. Sepan, come on. I told you that uh, uh, Arthur Zwane will turn things around. Uh, maybe yeah, Tabik, you speak without the the face. Maybe you'll be you'll be audible enough. Um, and 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 Tepang, they they, they said. Um, I told you that Arthur is a good coach. Here here they are. He said number four. And did you see Chiefs the last game the game that they played? That was a brilliant Chiefs. I was impressed by Sam Gelo. Uh, Sam Gelo Zwane. I was impressed by the young man Tutuzi. You know. And then, uh, guys, uh, well, I don't know. It's me. I, me, Sokota, I, for me, I, that boy, his wow. first ball is a problem. <laughs> that ball is his first touch is a problem. He's got, he's got speed, but he cannot utilize them. That's my problem. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, I know you like him. Well, uh, remember, we have a, this is football. It's a game of different opinion. That's me. I may be wrong. So, what do you want to say, Tepan? No, when it comes to the support, I think it's a matter of decision making. We can see the your point picture point. because show us your face. You are you are audible enough. I think I think it's Tabik who's not audible. Yeah, say. No, the, no. The, as I'm saying, is the the issue of Khaukhele Sokota. I think it's the matter of decision making. The boy is a complete player. He's got everything. It's just a matter of decision making, you know. What is, what is everything, uh, last born when the guy cannot uh, even trap the ball? That's my problem. And then he's, he's it, last, he's his finish. He's a suspect, yeah, you know. He's looking down, he's not looking up when he has the ball. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't hence, know. That's what I'm saying. hence why I'm saying his decision making, you know, he's got the pace, he's got the skill. And he gets in proper positions, but the problem is yeah. his decision making. I think he thinks a lot when he has the ball. So mm -hmm. these are things that he needs to improve on because the boy is very unpredictable. He's someone whereby when he has the ball, anything can happen. He creates chances for Kaiser Chiefs, but the problem is the end product. I think his mm -hmm. end product is a problem. That's something that he needs to uh, work on. Um, but uh, I, I I love seeing some girls who are named to do Shavala, those youngsters, you know, coming mm -hmm. in and contributing to, mm -hmm. to, to, to the team's performance. So mm -hmm. I see what what coach Arthur is doing with the team. Um mm. they're getting it right. They're starting to mm. getting uh, get it right. And mm. Mshini as well played mm. a good game mm. also over the weekend. So mm. yeah, mm. there's they, they, signs of improvement. I think the mm. break did them well, you know. So let's just see how they come back in the next game. Oh and we saw it to Milan Kune. If you guys saw during that match, his weight loss, it's actually incredible. I think his fitness is coming back. Um, it was great seeing him also starting the match and winning the man of the match uh, on that day. I saw Utmelo Nkune, uh, you know, commenting or complaining, commenting, in fact, let me put it that way, to put the words correctly, commenting about, um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, about the boys from Chiefs, Nyaupe, they call him Nyaupe. I think he's a good player. He was commenting that he was given a chance, but it looks like he didn't take it. Uh, but he's young. Uh, if, 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 if the publication, I read it correctly. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, say the boy again. He started, he started in the game. They call him Nyaupe, he was from Swallows. Oh, uh, is it Yeah, what a Um, I don't know. Um, well, we see football differently. I don't think the boy is bad. I think the boy Arthur, Arthur has got the answer for Kaiser Chiefs, and the mere fact that he's introducing this youngster, he's throwing them in the deep end. Chiefs is gonna be one of the a good team. But let's go to Orlando Pirates. I saw that. Um, Ndondo was not played, and the coach was asked. The coach said, no, no, I'm going to focus on the people that I selected. Do you think uh, ta uh, Tabiki was a, was, a, was a mistake for Ndondo not to be played? Remember, as a coach, you can try this, and then it doesn't work, and then next time you try something. Tabiki, what do you, what's your take? 
Or maybe uh, I think we should all go there. I know you're a Chiefs. You want to say something about Chiefs? Let me give you the opportunity. Ah, uh, no, Chief, with Chiefs, with Chiefs, I think you guys have said everything. No, I think sometimes you should also respect the coach's decision, you know? Yeah. When you ask him about a player he didn't play, I mean, what else must he say? That means the player was not fit or was not in his plans for that game. So mm-hmm. you can't be saying you must play this, play this. You must just respect the coach, the coach for 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 for, for putting players he thinks were good for the match. You understand? This mm-hmm. reminds me of Pirates at some point not playing Mohango. And then I kept on asking this question until I'm joined by other journalists to ask the same question. Fadu at some point uh, let the cat out of the bat. He said uh, the selection of players doesn't depend on the performance only. It depends on also on the discipline. Do they come on mm-hmm. time at the training? Uh, they come at training at what state? Are they drunk or are they sober and all that? Uh, they are disciplined, you know? So, and then I said, if he was let go for disciplinary reasons, I said, uh, heads up, uh, big up to uh, Pirates coaches for deciding that. And then I'll couple it mm-hmm. with uh, uh, Eric Ten Hag. I don't know what you have seen. What He never started uh, Rashford at the game. And moreover, Rashford is on form. He started him on the bench. When they asked him, he said, for disciplinary reasons. That's a coach. That's a coach. And remember, he has done that with Cristiano Ronaldo. And Cristiano Ronaldo refused to come in when he wanted to to bring him in. He took stern action. Discipline is the corner of everything. What's your what's your take about that, uh, Tabiki? Yeah, we can say it. discipline is a very important thing. Even not only for soccer players, for everybody. You know, mm-hmm. we have to follow somebody, we have to listen to somebody. If we're just going to do things the way we want, mm-hmm. then, you know, the team is going to be disorganized. I remember even Pep Goda did, did it with Foden and Grealish too. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they went out hunting after a midweek game and then the next coming weeks, he told them, no, just get a... I think he suspended them from the first team until mm-hmm. they get their first straight, you know, stuff like that. So I think discipline, if you don't have discipline, I mean... Mm. You want to Dis- make the whole team organized. Yeah, yeah. Discipline is the corner of everything. Um, yeah. If you are a player, you have to be disciplined. If you are not yeah. disciplined, you are creating problems. Guys, let's move on. We have seen that. Um, no, no. I think I, I, I shared the wrong picture. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you. No, this is the picture that I want to share. Cristiano Ronaldo, guys, has gone to. Al Sa Al Nasa in um, uh-huh. in 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 Saudi Arabia. These guys they have a vision. They know what they want. The guys in the Middle East. I don't know whether guys you see what I see. If you see yeah. the, the the real businessmen in Saudi Arabia, they own teams now in Europe. They own teams in America, and they have mm-hmm. now hosted the World Cup. And apparently they want 2030 World Cup to go to Saudi Arabia. The reason why Ronaldo was signed was signed for specifically for that reason. Because two years he's going to play. The other um, two years, if two or three years, he will serve as an ambassador. Mind you, Messi is already an ambassador for them. I don't know you know, you know that. And then they uh-huh. pay them handsomely. So they are serious, these guys, you know. The other thing that I want you to learn from the people from the Saudis and the people from Dubai, you know, those guys, they don't have much resources like us here. But I'm told that the, 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 the people in, for instance, Qatar, which they have about 2 million, if the reports are correct, every household is giving money to support them using that one resource that they have, which is oil, you understand? Then we have our country with all the resources, all the resources, including oil. The only resource that we don't have in this country is water, but we are the poorest, all right? So this, for me, it tells me that these people, they know what they want. And then uh, according to ESPN, this is the detail of the contract. You know what, 200 million per annum, and then uh, uh-huh. as they break it a month, 
he will be getting 16.6 million US dollars, not rands, US dollars, a day, uh, 548,000 US dollars. If you bring it to us, it's more than, it's more than 5 million a day. Okay, because his time is 10, or it's even more. And then uh, an hour is getting 22,833 uh, thousand US dollars. And then a minute is get a minute is getting 380 a minute US dollars. A second is getting 6.34 uh, US dollars a second. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, I, I, you know me, I always watch the other uh, publication for one reason, I want to learn from them. Uh, the other reason, uh, I want to know what are they talking about? Uh, are we still seeing the narrative that is being created, the propaganda? Uh, because, uh, I don't know, let me not call it propaganda. The narrative that is being created and all that. And I also learn from them, you know? Uh, there is a there is a talk show in 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 England that's called Talk Sport. Those journalists they do their work. I'm highly impressed. Uh, USPN, I see. Well, you still have one. Not all of them, or not all of them. Some of them, um, you know, well, no whether Messi can do whatever they then they'll still downplay it. So I, I listen to some of the pundits or the journalists out there. Some of them are blaming Ronaldo why he goes to. Uh, what is this place to to, to Saudi Arabia? Why did he play in, in in top league and reduce his salary? Uh, guys, to be fair, what Ronaldo was supposed to do? Because these people were coming. Now they were arguing that no, 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 he is too he is too expensive. Maybe he should have reduced his money. Did they approach him with a reduced money? <laughs> I'm sure they didn't approach him with reduced money because Ronaldo made it clear that he wants to play in Europe. He wants to play in the Champions League. He still wants to play. Who approached him? All right. It's a little bit unfair. I think this is a good deal for Ronaldo and his family. And they were arguing to say, no, the guy has made a lot of money. So what does he want now? Uh, no, but I mean, what was he supposed to do? You know, because everybody knew that Ronaldo is a free agent. Did they go to him? Did he, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, we get in the news that they went and and, and ask uh, Ronaldo, are you available? I don't know, guys. What do you want to say about it? Um, um for me, I want to talk about his move. I I think it's a good move for him financially. Even if the league, the league, the league that is going to, it's not known like the other leagues. For mm. him, financially, it makes perfect sense. Mm. Understand? Mm. And he deserves the money. You know, ah. it's, it's Ronaldo uh, after all. You know, Tepa? What's your take? Yeah, no. Um, it was a good money move. Uh, it was a good money move for him. I mean, I think he has realized maybe someone who's advising him has finally told him that, you know, you've reached that age whereby you have done everything. You know, so now it's a matter of him securing uh, his future more in terms of uh, uh, getting these deals. I mean, this deal also comes with sponsorship deals, endorsement deals, which he will be getting at Saudi Arabia with the club as well, TV rights, um, all, of these sponsor all of these sponsorship deals that you could actually think of. Cristiano Ronaldo is the center of them. And in terms of growing the league on its own, so hence why even <clears throat> after he's done playing, he'll be an ambassador as well of the team. And if they might go and and, and then win the World Cup, uh, the the World Cup rights, uh, Saudi Arabia, in terms of hosting the World Cup, he'll be the center of everything. So in terms of that, that's actually a smart move, and he's actually monetizing out of it. So no, so that's he, fine. That's fine, Tepan. Let's move on. Um, I'm ch I'm checking time. Uh, the money move. I don't agree with you. It's not the money move. Cristiano wanted to move. I don't think Cristiano wanted money. Um, people were not prepared to come and approach him. Uh, but he, it's not a money move, to be honest. Cristiano wants to play football. I don't think Cristiano wants to play. And then uh, he, he went there because he's going to play. And then, uh, unfortunately, it, it, it's coupled with money. 
You see, I'm worried people when they blame him that no, he was supposed to remain in Europe, they should have approached him, the European teams, all right? And then they should have indicated that we want to reduce your price. I mean, your, 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 uh, I've, I've shared the wrong, the wrong pick. Uh, they wanted, they should have said, no, no, we want to reduce your, what you call, we want to reduce your, 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 your salary and, and the money that you, you earn. So they didn't say that. So you, you can't blame him. So um, I don't know uh, what to take there for me. There's nothing wrong that Cristiano did. Uh, any businessman would have done it. Of course, he still wants to play uh, at the top league. Uh, but unfortunately, no one came for him. So if people didn't come for him, so what was he supposed to do? You know, uh, that's my argument. You know, so yeah, let's move on, guys. Um, guys, I'm sure you've seen what's happening in the Premier League. Um, and then uh, Premier League, and then also the what you call the Premier League and Serie A and, and the La Liga. Let's see, we have the Serie A on top of the lock, it's Napoli. Guys, have you seen Napoli? They play a very beautiful football. Look at the gap between them and, a and AC Milan. AC Milan is at 33 and Napoli is at uh, 41. Although they just played only uh, 15 games because there's still a long way to go. Juventus is still there hovering around. Inter Milan this time is struggling. Uh, Tabiki, what do you want to say about this? Um, I haven't followed much, but all I can tell you is that I, Napoli is showing them flames this year. I think they haven't even lost a game this season mm. in, the, in their league, I think. Yeah, mm. so they can't be stopped. They can't be stopped this season. Yeah. You know? no. So I think, I think they will take it. You know, there's a lot of distance. But even if the team can lose form, mm. you know, those teams, they'll not even, they will have to maybe play three games to go above them. So, I don't mm. think it's a team that will lose will be losing form anytime soon. Yeah. Um, um but, uh, who's this? Um uh Tepang. Here is uh, Barcelona, Madrid is there, Hoovering. Uh they play 15 games, they're all at 38. Do you think Xavi's position is at stake? Yeah, um I still think Xavi's position is still at stake. Um I, I Yes, Barcelona might be number one at the moment, but I don't see them uh, holding on to this lead. I, mm. I still believe that Real Madrid will win, will win the league, the Spanish uh, La Liga. Um, Barcelona, I mean, even over the weekend, you know, they struggle in terms of holding a lead, you know, defending a lead, and they they're very inconsistent, you know. Mm. Real Madrid started off slow this season. But now mm. they're picking on, you know, mm. they, they're picking up steam. So mm. it's a team that keeps rising and rising. They're not slowing mm. down. So I see mm. Real Madrid surpassing Barcelona as time goes. Mm. Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you think Xavi's out of death? Or what is the problem? Or is it Laporta as the leader doesn't bring the right people? No, I, I, I honestly feel like Xavi was one of the fortunate mem uh, managers, you know, in, in Europe, in getting the players that he wanted. I mean, he got the signings that he wanted. Barcelona mm. managed to sign players, I mean, but mm. I don't know. It's mm. a matter of him putting a squad together. He's got mm. the players on He cannot complain, but mm. it's a matter of uh, uh, getting the players to do the right thing, which is something that he's struggling with at the moment. Is it the time now that he st they still have, that they have to notice that they really need Messi? At some point, they were questioning Messi. Testegan was questioning Messi. You know, Messi apparently is still keeping in touch with uh, Busquets and, and Jordi Alba. I don't think a lot of people, yes, they say he still talks to Xavi. Um, um, I think they start realizing that they made a mistake. They thought that Messi is finished. They should have listened to Pep Guardiola. But it seems as if, um, <laughs> you know, they never listened. Um, um, and then uh, what's your take about the news around Benzema that he was not played because I don't know what was happening there in the French. And Benzema said he was ready to go, you know. And then uh, the next thing he was told to, to go home. And then uh, that has hurt him a lot. So I don't know. What's your take? Um, yeah. for me, I yeah. think it, I think it 
I thought maybe he was injured or something. When I heard that the doctor and the the French coach went to his room, mm, so it just started again. That that uh, that network. So when he thought actually the okay. Yeah, I I don't know what's happening with the network. We need to sort this down. We'll talk after this, Tabiki. You've done a brilliant okay. work. I really appreciate your coming into this show has added more impetus. I really appreciate Guys, let's look at the Premier League. Arsenal, they are right on top of the lock. And listen, Arsenal is a different team now. Uh, uh, Saka wanted to extend his contract. Remember, he's left with one year. It's Saka and Martinelli mm -hmm. and uh, Sabiki, I think. Some or Salibi, Salibi. Yeah. But uh, Arsenal, they say they want to extend it for a, a long term. That's a bit of a change for Arsenal. You know, Arsenal was prepared to sell all their good stars to make money. Uh, uh -huh. But that's very good. That's very good to see them now talking this way. Look, Arsenal now, they are leading with 43 points. Do you think Arsenal will hold on until the day they, they are crowned the champions? Uh, it's still very. I feel like it's still very early. Um, the 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 first leg of the league is not even done yet. Mm. They've got three games to go before the mm. first round ends. You know. Um. So maybe we'll judge them from the second leg. Uh, in the next coming I mean, maybe five games or so. Maybe mm. we can, mm. see. and that's when we can tell that okay, they are mm. actually running away with it because now. If we can look at the points difference is mm. between mm. them and Man City, they actually mm. are, are leading, you know, they put they're peeling off away from Man City, you know. Mm. Man City mm. keeps dropping points. So yeah, it's too early, but they're doing a good job. No lie, yeah. they are the contenders for, for the league, they're doing a good job, but it's too early to tell because of from number four. From number one to number four, you should actually look at the points difference. It's just 11 points away. So mm -hmm. anything can happen in the next three games. So mm -hmm. that's how mm -hmm. you're able to determine uh, mm -hmm. determine the, these, these league positions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what about, um, I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, what about Man United? Um, what about Man United? Yes, I'm getting there. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying from number one to number four. Check mm. Man United now in terms of form. Um, mm. they, 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 they've got the form. You know, mm. they've got the form. They are really getting these points. And mm. they're just 11 points behind Arsenal. So in the next three or four games, you'll never know what might happen between mm. Arsenal and Man United. So anything can happen. So mm. there's still a long way to go. Mm. Mm. Okay, we'll see. Um, we'll watch the space. And now let's see the other leak that I want to share. Um, I think is the French leak. Uh, what's your take? Paris Saint-Germain at 44. And then the Lens, same game at 40. The difference is only four points. They, they've just played 17 uh, games. And they just lost against Lens. Was uh, the absence of Neymar and, and Messi affected them. Uh, I, really, I, really, I really don't think so. Um, I think in the, um, Lent are also becoming strong. You can see they also have the confidence. You know, they want to challenge. Mm -hmm. They want to change mm -hmm. this thing of PSG winning the league every time. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going to be nice. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice to see what's going to happen at mm -hmm. the end of the mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. Lent, you can see their own form, you know, mm -hmm. and they deserve the win for me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Besides Messi being there, not being there, and Neymar not being there, I don't think it would have, it would have affected the PSG because they also have players who can replace them, you know, mm. or play mm. in those positions, you know, because you know PSG, PSG is, a, is, a, is a big team, so I expected the players who were in Messi's position or Neymar's mm. position, mm. Play, you know, yeah. So, yeah. so I don't think it was, you know, yeah. I think Lens is just also a strong team, and it it also helped them close the gap, you know. Four points, mm -hmm. yeah, you, they can cover them, actually. You know? The sound has improved dramatically. Sepan, what do you think about Ike Tike, the young man playing in the front? Ike Tike. Hey, the young man is brilliant. Did you watch the game? 
Yes, 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 I do. Yeah, the young man is brilliant. Um, you know, these players that were actually surprised you that they came out of nowhere, but, you know, um, how they're actually shining. But I think it comes with the influence, you know, uh, surrounding them within the team and how they managed to get, you know, on top of their game. So, a player. Very, very. Them, one to look for in the future. Tabiki, I don't agree with you. Um, uh-huh. I think when you have Messi and Neymar, the team don't want to attack, especially Messi. They are worried about him. That plays a psychological impact. So the mere uh-huh. fact that Messi was in there, Lens got confident that Messi is not there, Neymar is not there. That played a major role. Um, for me, that played a major role. Guys, uh, another award for Lionel Messi. Now moving straight to the Messi special. I don't know whether you noticed that another award for the king of football. Uh, have you, uh, are you aware of that, guys? Uh-huh. You got another award, you know? Did you notice that? Uh, okay. Now, let me share with you quickly. Uh, the king of football got another award. Um He's became the men's world best international scorer for 2022 by IFFHS. That's Lionel Messi for the he keeps on banging them, even banging them out. Another award. This man has won everything. Now he's got about 42 titles. He has tied with uh, Daniel Vess. So sooner or later, he's going to surpass Daniel Vess. So uh, we are there. The Messi special, as usual. And then uh, stop comparing Messi with anyone, guys. I see they've compared him with Mbappe. I want to show you uh, when when Messi was 24 and Mbappe is 24. All right? But let me tell you, I'm happy that Mbappe said, I- I'm not worried about Messi. Messi is my teammate. I'm looking forward to play with him. I'm waiting for him to come back. And the Messi said to me, he's going to pass me to score goals. Yeah. That's Messi for you. Do you understand? So this competition, mm-hmm. the, the Ballon d'Or is loading. Ballon d'Or number eight is loading. Look, look, at 24, Messi had three golden balls, mm-hmm. three Champions League top scorer, three golden shoes, two times top scorer of the season, a uh, scorer in two Champions League finals. Look, that in this, the, the list is endless. The two Champions League best player, two Champions League, two European Super Cups, two Club World Cup at 24, uh, two Golden Medal uh, at Olympics, uh, first under 20 Cup, first World Cup, Ballon d'Or at 24. Look at uh, Mbappe. World Cup one, best scorer of uh, uh, CMD uh, 2022. All below are not there. Stop comparing Messi. Ballon d'Or number uh-huh. four is loading. Uh, I hear uh-huh. Halat. Halat said, um, as long as Messi is playing, 2025, you'll win another Ballon d'Or. Uh-huh. That's not me. That's, uh, uh-huh. that's um, Halat. Halat said that. <laughs> Said uh, he'll continue to score um, if if you don't believe it, and then uh, Lionel Messi will continue to score, and then uh, uh-huh. in 2025. So, um, and I'm gonna do this one now to to show that uh, this man uh, he's he's great, and then um, because I don't know what are they trying to achieve by um, all the time because I think the Ballon d'Or number eight is loading. Uh-huh. That is why you see so many critics as far as uh, Messi is concerned. And then I want to share some good news about him. And then we'll do this until um, we hear what are the results of the Ballon d'Or. And then uh, now, uh, one thing that I want to share with you, um, let me share this. Out of all active players, the leading scorer is Ronaldo with 819 goals, all right? And then uh, Messi, 799. Uh, All right. So what is the difference there? It's only 20. All right. 
and then 605 uh Lewandowski 554 for um Abramovich and 513 for Suarez now guys I don't know and then you know Lewandowski I like Lewandowski call people to order say guys I love uh Lionel Messi is the greatest and they wanted to wage uh you know something between the two of them and then he said now they were asking what did you speak with me he said no that is private but i'm looking forward to playing with him one day. now look at this world cup winners players 471 all of them world cup and and and, and the champions league uefa champions league 80 players have won that world cup and champions league and ballon d'Or winners there are only nine and remember out of those nine, Messi has seven. And then World Cup, Champions League, Ballon d'Or, and Golden Boot, only two. It's Gerd Muller and Messi. Then World Cup, Champions League, Ballon d'Or, Golden Boot, and then a Golden Ball winner, only one player is Lionel Messi. So, um, uh, you know, I'll keep on reminding you this. And then... Um, Lionel Messi and Zidane are the only two players in football history to have won this. Two who have won league trophies, uh, league cups, UEFA Champions League, FIFA World Cup, and UEFA Champion and Copa America, brace in World Cup final. They scored brace in World Cup final. The two goal in, in uh, World Cup final, World Cup uh, golden ball, and then the Europa Cup and best player and Ballon d'Or and FIFA best player of the These are the only two. And one of them is Lionel Messi. So what's your take, guys? Yeah, well, for me, uh, you see these two guys, uh, for me, they are the best. Now, you know? now, now, people keep on saying, they are nothing. You know, if it was Messi who has tied, who have won the Golden Boot because of penalties, who could have heard the stories? Remember, Mbappe scored three, and two of them are penalties. Mm. And they wanted to say, ah, Messi scored penalties. And Messi is not that kind of a person. He's not worried about mm. scoring. He's worried about winning and assist his teammate. And Mbappe has closed it and said, he's going to pass me. He said, he's going to pass me to score goals. Guys, mm. I rest my case. This is the king of football. I'll keep on reminding people about this. Ballon d'Or number eight is loading. Hello, everybody. My name is The Sobre Boys, one fancy from a TBR Solution. TBR Solution is a financial company that helps people to be financially savvy. I'm sure these days you are aware that prices are very up in terms of petrol, in terms of goods and services, prices are very, very high. Now, these days, we are on a campaign to help those members of GPF or government employees especially if you are 55 years old or above and you are contemplating to resign or go on pension in three months time, give us a call or drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you back so that we help you to get your money expeditiously, you know, as compared to sometimes people get their money after a long time. We will then transfer your money from GPF to Alan Gray, whom we have a relationship with. And the good news is, once the money has been transferred, you will choose how much you want to earn. If you happen to pass on, your spouse will also get the same amount. Then if it happens that both of you passes on, you would have appointed or selected uh, beneficiaries. It could either be your children or anyone else. And there's nothing like age limit that they must be 22 or below. Even if they're above 22, they'll be able to get the, the 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 inheritance from you so that's how flexible it is and then um, i know that sometimes people they worry about medical aid and all that we also have with other partners who assist you to get a medical aid so if you want to learn more and get more information pertaining to that just drop us a whatsapp we'll therefore come back to you i thank you